The Dixon Hall story begins in 1928 when Edith Smith and Reverend William Edgar Wilson dreamt of a non-sectarian agency to enhance the relief work for the impoverished residents in downtown East Toronto. With the onset of the Great Depression in 1929, the need for an agency to help the poor and jobless became intense. Smith and Wilson found a modest structure on Sumac Street that had once been used for a Bulgarian mission. And on November 29th, Dixon Hall was incorporated. A few days later, with the chill of winter in the air, the doors at our historic current location opened. Dixon Hall quickly became a beacon of hope for East Downtown Toronto. It was both soup kitchen and family centre to people dealing with unprecedented depths of poverty. Mothers would arrive with empty containers and return home with the soup needed to keep their families alive. Volunteers brought in supplies, taught knitting, intervened when families faced eviction, and organized children's activities such as the Wolf Pack and the Girls Group. Dixon Hall provided hope in the gloomiest of times. Children, parents and grandparents came to Dixon Hall to socialize, to sing, to play games, and to help each other. The Great Depression eventually ended, but the need for Dixon Hall remained strong. Following World War II, one family to move into the Dixon Hall community was the Aikida family. Sid Aikida remembers back to 1947. My mother and seven kids chose to come in 1947 to Toronto. And we lived on St. Paul Street. The house, in fact, was worse than the home we had in the internment camp, which was not good either. One of the best things that ever happened to me to come to Dixon Hall because I was able to associate and make new friends. So I thank Dixon Hall for all the good things that guided me along in my life. Toronto, once known as the place where sidewalks were rolled up by 9 o'clock, became a dynamic, powerful engine to the Canadian economy. It also became more multicultural. In Regent Park, more than 70 mother tongues have been identified. Dixon Hall has always been a place of compassion and companionship. Grace Lawrence, who first came to Dixon Hall in the mid-1970s, fondly remembers many life-changing experiences she had in the seniors program. I, I'm Grace Lawrence, and I uh, started here in Dixon Hall 33, 34 years ago. I uh, learned to do so many different things, and I always had help if I needed it. The, employees are wonderful. Oh, I, I don't know what I'd do without them. I just live for the day that I could get down there. Today, transformation on an enormous scale is happening all around Dixon Hall. The Regent Park Revitalization Project will tear down the existing buildings and create a larger mixed income community. Two other massive projects, West Donlands and East Bayfront, are underway just south of Dixon Hall's main building. Although the community around Dixon Hall is changing dramatically, the number of people living in social housing will actually increase over the next decade, making the need for Dixon Hall services even greater. Looking into the future, Dixon Hall will continue to offer an integrated approach to getting people on their feet and hope for all ages. It will always be a place of dreams, possibilities and growth a place where people can build a better future for themselves.